Hello and welcome to Mathematics with Simon. I'm Simon. Today we are going to look at the proof of the compound angle formulae. So first, these are the compound angle formulae. Um, there's six of them. Now first we're going to prove that sine A plus B equals sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. This is the diagram we're going to use. As ever with these geometric or trigonometric proofs, the key is to get the right diagram. So some key ideas here. I mean, we've got an angle A and an angle B here, and we've got PU that's going to be 1. So PU is 1. This angle is B. So this is cos B. This is sine B. Uh, this angle here is A, which means that because this is cos B, this must be... Uh, sine A cos B, which is a good thing to find. And by the way, while we're at it, well, this angle here, this is A, so PTR is 90 minus A, which means that PTS is A, because this angle is going to be 90, which means that STU is 90 minus A, which means this angle up here is A, which is important because we know this is sine B. So because this is A, we know that means that UV equals cos A sine B. And now here's the good news. Sine A plus B. So this is A plus B here, this angle. This is 1. So UQ is sine A plus B. And UQ is made up of VQ and uv vq uh, is the same as tr is the same as sine a cos b and uv is cos a sine b so that tells us that uh, sine a plus b equals sine a cos b plus cos a sine b hooray now the next thing we're going to look at is cos a plus b equals cos a cos b minus sine a sine b we're going to use the same diagram so if we look on the diagram here, this thing, so what we've got is PQ is, is PR minus QR, and PR is cos A cos B, because, um, because this PT thing is cos B, and then this is A here, so that means that PR is cos A cos B. Okay. QR, which is the short bit here, that is the same as VT. And we knew that this was sine B, this hypotenuse here of this right angle triangle is sine B. And so this is A. So VT is sine A sine B. So what we've got here is PQ is cos A cos B, which is the kind of PR piece, minus uh, VT, which is QR, which is sine A sine B, which is the proof. Okay, next, here's another chart. We're going to prove sine A minus B equals sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. So UQ equals sine A minus B, because this thing is 1, PU is 1. This angle is A, the whole angle is A, The this smaller one is B, and so this bit is A minus B, so sine A minus B equals UQ. Uh, SQ is the same as TR, and that is sine A cos B, because this is A, this is cos B, so TR is sine A cos B. SU is this bit. So what do we know about SU? Well, we know that we've got a hypotenuse of this right angle triangle here that's called sine B. We've got the angle A there. That means that SU is cos A sine B. Put it all together. Uh, sine A minus B is... UQ, which is 
sine A cos B, which was TR, minus SU, which is cos A sine B. So that tells us that sine A minus B equals sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. Next, we're going to prove that cos A minus B equals cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. So what have we got? We've got that here, PQ is cos A minus B. That's the long bit here. PQ is made up of PR and RQ, right? So PR is... We got cos B right up here. Cos B right up here. Then we got the angle A there. So PR is cos A cos B. RQ is the same as TS. We got sine B here. We've got an A there. So TS is sine A sine B. So PQ is uh, cos A cos B, which is the PR piece, plus RQ, which is sine A sine B. So that's the proof of that. Finally, uh, and this is kind of easy, we're going to prove that tan A plus B equals tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan B. So tan A plus B equals sine A plus B over cos A plus B, because tan X is sine X over cos X for any X. Then we're going to substitute in for sine A plus B and cos A plus B in here. Then we're going to divide the top and bottom by... We're going to divide the top and bottom by cos A cos B. So divide this by cos A cos B, you get tan A. Divide this by cos A cos B, you get tan B. Divide this by cos A cos B, you get 1. And divide this by cos A cos B, you end up with tan A tan B, which is, there it is. The next one is, we're going to prove tan A minus B is sine A minus B over cos A minus B. We're going to prove the formula for tan A minus B. So tan A minus B equals sine A minus B over cos A minus B. So it's sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. We just substitute in the formulas we've proved. And again, we divide the top and bottom by cos A cos B. It's exactly the same, right? So divide this by cos A cos B. The cos B cancels. You get sine A over cos A, which is tan A. Divide this by cos A cos B. You get tan B. Divide the, this by cos A cos B, you get 1. Divide this by cos A cos B, you get tan A tan B. What fun. I hope you like this. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. You're very welcome. I'd love to hear your ideas. And most of all, I hope you enjoy your mathematics.